Hi guys. So I'm still going on with, I'm still trying to get better. At least not binging and purging. And so far I've done 13 days so far. I might be short two days. <coughs> I, didn't, I might have not counted two days. But that's only because my schedule, my sleep schedule is really confusing right now. I don't really know when my days start and when my days end. That's why I might be short two days. So I didn't count them. I figured it's better to not count them versus counting extra. I have not purged in 13 days for sure. And I, I don't think about it as much anymore. I'm not super restrictive. I still, I'm not eating proper meals. I can't move that fast. I'll get there, hopefully. I guess I kind of wanted to start from the beginning. I've already mentioned it before, and that is that uh, on May 26, 2019, I became bulimic. Fully. Like, I would at least do it once a week, and then that moves to, you know, once every three days. And that just keeps shortening to the point where I, I've done it three times in one day. And that started almost a year ago, but it was not the first time I became comfortable with it. I first learned how to do it when I was in seventh grade, but I was, I would not call myself bulimic back then. I mean, obviously I didn't know what that was. I didn't know there was a word for it or anything, but I knew you could get rid of food because when I was, when I was in seventh grade in middle school, I was home watching TV with my mom and we were watching this show called, what was it, Infarto? I think it was called Infarto. It's basically, if you've never heard of scare tactics, it's like a group of friends decide to play a prank on one of their other friends. But he has no idea what's going to happen and they basically get cameras to prank their friend and they call it the call the friend that doesn't know anything the victim so in one of the episodes i think they drank this liquid that they said was like good or whatever if i find a clip of the exact show that got me into it i will put it in Muy bien. and they all drank it and they were pretending like it was poison and they were dying or something like that so the victim he was scared that he would die too or something and he shoved his fingers down his throat and threw it up <laughs> my mom was like that's brilliant and i thought that is brilliant but i didn't think of it as it's brilliant for you know to get rid of poison or whatever i thought of it as like i could lose weight with that if i eat something bad i could get rid of it because you know growing up i always i always knew it was an ugly kid like i it didn't take me long to know that i i saw how differently i was treated by my parents and by people in general like they would prefer all their kids over me and like my parents took care of my siblings so much better cared for them and everything and i wasn't that much older like obviously you have to care for the youngest more but i was very i don't know how to say it in english forgotten i guess a lot of the times i grew up thinking i was just a babysitter a maid a free maid sometimes when my parents when they they were mad at me they would say how i didn't look like i was part of their family like the fact that i didn't look like any of them and they were confused about it and that really hurt me as a kid you know because it's like i i wasn't good enough to be considered part of anybody you know my dad was like she does not look anything like my family and my mom was like no she doesn't look like any anybody and it really it made me really sad and i started to realize it's because i'm ugly and when my mom would put up pictures of us from like our school like her our class pictures you know she'd put mine up and my brother's and i would always knock mine down because i just it 
it drew me to tears watching my pictures up like it really bothered me i hated my face i hated everything about me my mom would get mad at me but she didn't realize that it really did affect me having to see my face and stuff so i would take down pictures and it growing up over the years i started going as far as to stealing my pictures and ripping them up and flushing them or you know burning them it was really bad um i would not take pictures with my friends i would i would not be in videos i hated it i was i would av avoid reflections because it knew it would really affect me for years even there's pictures and, st and videos where like i still think about them they still affect me which is weird because here i am but that feel really kind of led to this you know when you don't think you're enough and you start to realize well i can't change the way my voice sounds i can't change the way my eyes are too far apart or my skin color is not you know good enough everything i hated about myself could not be changed so i decided to just go for what could change and that was my weight and what i ate so when I was in seventh grade, I had just seen that. I told myself, "You're gonna, you're gonna learn how to do that. You're gonna learn how to throw up." I went. We lived in a very small house, so there was no way I could do that um, without anybody hearing me. So I decided to do it in the basement, which is very scary. It's really creepy looking. If you have ever seen American Horror Story, Murder House, it looked like that basement. So I would go with a plastic bag from Walmart or Cubs Food and I would go downstairs to the basement and I would, I was trying to and it took me forever but I finally managed to get my sandwich out and I remember I felt relief and happiness and like I found a loophole. I found a shortcut. I found hope. And I kept doing it for a week. There wasn't much changes. And then I started getting really involved with school. Because I was always like really scared of not, you know, not having good grades. So I got involved with that and I kind of just stopped doing it. I lost interest. I stopped caring much because I wasn't, it wasn't my priority. There was other things I, I wanted to do. And besides we had some family problems, financial problems that I was more freaking out about. So I kind of stopped that before it got out of hand. Before it became an actual problem, I stopped. Years later, I get a job and the job requires a lot of moving around. I lose weight without even trying, without doing anything unhealthy. I was moving around the job, I lose weight. People start saying nice things about it. My old friends are like, wow, you look good, you know, positive feedback. I'm getting more attention the way where, like, I wasn't used to. No one's calling me names. <laughs> and I liked it. I felt strong. I remember people were, like, surprised I could lift so much and stuff like that. So I started to become more focused on fitness. I start eating really good. I exercise. I do so much for that. I would always have my Fitbit, always trying to beat everybody on there. Everything was good. I was doing what I should be doing. But then I look at my weight. I, I focus on what I'm eating and nothing's changing. I'm not improving anymore. There comes to the point where no matter how much you try, it seems like you're not getting fast results. I wanted to keep seeing results. I wanted to keep improving. I wanted to keep changing. I became obsessed with it. So I decided, you're going to have less calories this time. You're going to do more exercise. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to do whatever it takes to change. So I stopped eating as much. I exercised more and more. And then one day, 
my calories became too low, I couldn't exercise anymore. I lost the motivation. I didn't care about being healthy anymore. I needed more change. I began restricting my food to the point where I started starving because I was working out so much. So on May 26, 2019, I went on a trip with my siblings to Duluth and we went to a casino's buffet and I ate everything there. I ate way too much and the amount of guilt was too much for me. I remember the whole time we were driving back home, I was holding in tears. Like I could not believe I had eaten that much in that buffet. So when I got home, I went to my room, went to the bathroom, and I decided, you know how to do this. You used to do it when you were in seventh grade. Just do it once. Just this once. Because I didn't want to throw away all I've worked for. All the extreme bullshit I went through. I would not get it, you know, I would not throw it away for a buffet. So I got rid of the food. And I realized that was easy. You know, like I just thought that was easy. So every time I ate something I wasn't supposed to, I just keep doing it until it became a habit. At the end of the day, the reason I even wanted to be fit was to distract myself. Working out and eating right distracted me from what had happened in the past with, you know, my three friends that, that failed, failed me. It wasn't three people that failed me, it was four. I failed myself. And no matter who hurts you, whether it's accidental or on purpose, at the end of the day, if you allow them to hurt you so bad that you end up hurting yourself, the only person we should really be mad at is ourselves. The only person we should really try not to fail is ourselves. I'm trying to stop failing myself and hopefully what saved me back in the day Back in the day, my worst days, I fixed them with lists. So, if old Angela used lists to get on top of things and to improve, I will summon old Angela to do the same thing. And that's why I have this thing. This is, I don't know, this is the best thing I could think of because it's like a friend who's keeping you in check but you don't really need to you know deal with a real person giving you shit and i don't know you know having to put up with you or whatever it's just a paper and you could always go back and see how well you did that's how i started doing that i'm grateful for for you guys i'm sorry if i don't respond to everybody i try to um, and uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you do not have to follow me, okay? You don't have to follow me. It's open for a reason. You guys can, you know, watch my stories, what I do daily. Um, you guys can send me a message and I'll eventually get back to you. And, yeah, that's, yeah, n never feel like you have to, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to follow me. I'm not here for numbers, I'm actually trying to get away from numbers, calories, but yeah, I'm here to improve. And I hope you guys join me too, but no pressure. So anyways, I will see you guys next time.